The shot chart is a very popular statistic to output in basketball. So I'm going to show you how I create and develop a shot chart. And hopefully you can use this in your own basketball output window. So the end game is going to be this shot chart output here where we've got floor position as well as shot type. But before you can output shot chart statistics, you first have to code for them. So I code for them in my own special way using this thing called the shot matrix, but it's a bit overly complicated to go through in this video. So I'll leave a link in the description that walks through this entire window, including the shot matrix. But the more traditional way of coding for a shot chart is essentially just a label window. So a label window is essentially just a bunch of different labels grouped together. So for example, this shot location here is grouped as shot position, the shot type is shot type, these are shot players, and then the shot result. I'll also leave a link in the description to a video explaining label mode down below so you can figure out how all of this works. But essentially we've got a group of labels here that are inputted into each one of these instances. So each one of these instances has all that relevant information. It's got a shot location, a shot type, a shot player, and a shot result. And with that information, we can create a very detailed output window um, that show, you know, that shows the efficiency of our players in different shooting positions and in different shot types. So going to the output window, down the left here, I've got all these players and toggle buttons. So essentially each one of these can be pressed down and then unpressed, so they can be two different states. And then I've got this button down here, which is just an inactive button with the button ID of player. Now the scripting of this button here is essentially identifying all the names above it. So it's identifying the player name of player 01, which is the button ID of this top button, player 02, player 03, player 04. And then whenever any of them, any of them are pressed down, it's going to rename them to that player, to that name in that uh, button ID slot. So for example, I'll just show you in practicality. If Luther Muhammad is pressed down, it's going to put, uh, put down Luther Muhammad down in the slot. Jello, Jackson, Washington, Aarons, Ladee, and so on. And to the right here, we're going to get into the meat and potatoes, essentially, of the shot chart scripting. So it's really not that difficult. It's actually very simple. So first of all, you've got to select, basically, what shot locations you want to code for. So I've coded for the middle three left wing, right wing, right corner, left corner, left post, right post, left elbow, right elbow, middle two, paint and rim. Now I've just got a bunch of assorted shot types and obviously you can only have four results. So you've got to figure out that out and then you can place the relevant buttons in those positions and get the relevant shot types ready. Now the scripting is rather simple as I said. So we'll just click onto the left wing here. First you want to do is identify this player button below. So button name player, that's the variable name, player. Now we're going to create two variables, identifying first all the shots in that area, as well as just the made shot, so we can get a percentage. So total shot equals count label made three and labeled missed three, because you can only shoot you know, made and missed threes, not twos, outside that perimeter line. And then and label left wing, because we're in the left wing, and label player. So it's again identifying the name in that button ID slot of player in the row Ohio State shots. And if all of that was a bit difficult to understand, just pause the video and basically take a screenshot of the scripting and you can kind of dice it, uh, decipher it decipher it in your own time. So that's all the shots that could be made in that area, missed shots uh, and made shots. So then we've got made shot, count label made three and label left wing and player where row equals a higher state shot. So we just filtered out just the made shots now. Then you can create your percentage. Percentage equals round because we're going to round it down into one decimal point of a number. So made shot divided by total shot times 100, that's just going to give you your basic percentage sum. And then we're, one there is the amount of decimal points you're running it down to. Then we're going to show the percentage with a percentage sign. So it looks like a complete stat. And then below that, we've got all the colors. Again, I'm not going to go through all of this. Just take a screenshot of that, and then you can understand it at your own time. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's just trying to find that number between two different numbers and then outputting a relevant color such as yellow for uh, you know average, orange for worse, and green for really good. So then when it comes into inside the perimeter, it's again very simple. We'll go to the left post, just add, you know, instead of having made three and missed three, just have made two and missed two. Instead of having left wing, you just have left elbow and player where uh, higher state shots. And then you're gonna get that same stat very easily. Down to the shot type is going to be the exact same thing. Instead, you're not going to have made twos and missed threes. You're going to have all of them together. 
So we're going to the catch and shoot instead of just made three and missed three. You're going to have made three, missed three, made two, or missed two. Catch and shoot instead of the floor position. That's just a straight swap. And then and player again referencing this button ID where row equals a higher state shots. Then you just have the made shots, so made three and made two. And then again, we've got the exact same amount of scripting from seven, line seven down. So this is the exact same as it was in the shot chart above. So what does this look like in function? I know uh, Woods took the most shots in this game, so if I click him, he's going to give us the best representation. Execute. And you'll see that he's got these different shooting percentages in these different areas or different shot types. Now the difference between a white zero and a red zero is he took a shot in this area, but he just made none of them, whereas in the white zeros, he never made a shot in that area, so there's not exactly a bad shooting percentage because he never shot there. So that's how a shooting chart works. Hopefully that made sense. If you have any questions, my email's in the description. If you want me to send you this output window, I'll also gladly do so, and then hopefully you can kind of learn it on your own time. However, it is also for elite users only because these are toggle buttons to the left. However, these will still work because they are not toggle buttons and just basic. Oh no, they are toggle buttons. So none of these will work if you don't have sports code elite. Um, hopefully this helped. And if it doesn't, send me a question. I'll happily respond. Other than that, have a good day.